Replication of Fizeau's speed of light experiment. Materials and tools needed for simulating this experiment. Box. Dimensions. 40 cm length times 20 cm width times 20 cm height. Light source. A red laser module. Perforated ring. Replacing Fizeau's gear. Size. 5 inches, approximately 12.7 cm in diameter. Number of holes. Requires a number of holes, e.g. 10 to 20, spaced uniformly around the ring's circumference. The holes must be large enough for the laser beam to pass through. Mounting. Must be mounted at the center of the box so a motor can rotate it. Electric motor. Type. A high-speed DC motor, like hobby or small industrial motors, capable of spinning the 5 minus inch ring sufficiently fast. Connection. The motor shaft is connected directly to the center of the perforated ring. Motor speed control circuit. Components. Potentiometer, variable resistor, resistor and transistor for motor speed control. Location. The potentiometer must be inside the box and accessible to the observer. Power supply. Battery, e.g., 9 volts or AA, or an adapter to power the motor and circuit. Detection screen. Paper. Size. A small piece of paper, e.g., 5 times 5 cm. Location. Placed on the right side of the ring, behind the path of the next hole, aligned with the laser beam's path. Tripod. For placing and stabilizing the box. Distant mirror. Type. A high-quality flat mirror capable of reflecting the laser beam. Location. Mounted on a mountain at a distance of 15 kilometers. Experiment procedure. 1. Initial setup and alignment. Place the box on the tripod. Mount the laser on the left side of the box so its beam is directed towards the ring and then towards the distant mirror. The perforated ring is connected to the motor and placed in the path of the laser beam. The paper screen is mounted as the detector on the right side of the ring, behind the next hole. The mirror is set up on the mountain at a 15 km di distance and adjusted so the laser beam hits it and is reflected precisely back towards the ring. 2. Starting the experiment. Ring stationary. Turn on the laser. The laser beam passes through the first hole on the left of the ring and hits the 15 km distant mirror. The mirror reflects the beam. While the ring is stationary, the returning beam hits the solid part of the ring between the first and second holes on the right side. Result, the beam is blocked and no light reaches the paper detection screen. The observer sees nothing. 3. Spinning the ring. Turn on the electric motor and, using the speed control potentiometer, gradually increase the ring's rotation speed. When the ring's speed reaches a specific value, F, the ring rotates just enough during the time of flight, T, of the light to the distant mirror and back, where T equals 2 dc with D equals 15 km and C being the speed of light. Suddenly, the returning laser beam passes through the second hall and hits the paper detection screen. The observer sees a small red dot on the paper screen. Calculating the speed of light, principles behind the experiment. Distance, D, 15 km. Round trip, 30 km. Time, T. If the ring has N holes and the motor rotates at a frequency of F revolutions per second, during the time the light travels to the mirror and back, the ring rotates by the angle between two holes. This angle is 360 slash N degrees. The time required to rotate by the angle of one hole, one step, is speed of light, C. Closing parenthesis colon. This experiment allows us to calculate the speed of light by precisely measuring the rotation frequency, F, at which the point of light appears.